So I'm just going to be straight up with y'all. I've only had my record deal now about a year and a half or two years. And when you get a record deal and you get the slightest bit of success, people feel like they need to tell you how you need to dress and stuff you need to say and shit I shouldn't say that gets me in trouble. But I'm redneck as hell. I've always been a cowboy boot and blue jean wearing kind of guy. I don't ever see that change until I wrote a song about it called I Am Who I Am. Are y'all drinking tonight, Georgia? I need to properly introduce myself. My name is Shane Prophet, and I hope y'all are ready to have a good time tonight. So, like I told y'all, I've only had my record deal now about a year and a half or two years, going on two years now. And uh, before I had my record deal, I was the guy that cut the grass in the medians of the road for $11 an hour. And uh, 
I'm from a little bitty town just south of Nashville called Columbia, Tennessee. And I gotta tell y'all, I like cutting grass and all, but I sure as shit like my job a lot more now than I did back then. And I ran into a guy by the name of Chris Jansen at a sushi restaurant. Which is crazy, because I don't even eat sushi. I was on a first date with a girl I'd never been out with before, and I asked her what she wanted to eat, and she, she said, you know, Shane, I really like sushi. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love eating, as y'all can tell, but sushi does not butter my biscuit. <laughs> but she was a real pretty girl, so I took her to that sushi restaurant, and we walked in, and Chris Jansen had the door for me, and I ended up going up to him, introducing myself. And I told him I was a songwriter and that it would mean the world to me if he'd listen to some of my music. Well, I ended up getting his wife's email that night. She's also a music publisher and I sent some of the, what I thought was my best songs at the time to that email she'd given me. And at the bottom of the email that I sent her, I put my phone number and I said, hey, if y'all ever need anything, here's my phone number. And I wrote it down and I pressed send on that email. Fast forward two weeks later, I was weed eating the ditch in Columbia, Tennessee, and I felt my phone ringing in my pocket, and I looked at the caller ID, and said, Jansen. And I answered it, and as soon as I answered, he said, uh, hey, is this Shane? I said, yes, sir. He said, this is Chris. I said, yeah, caller ID said that. I kind of figured. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, it's a Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock, like most people I'm at work, you know, what are you doing? He said, well... I want you to go put your two-week notice in and come out on tour with me. So I damn sure did. And uh, I went on tour with Chris. And people back home kept telling me how lucky I was running with him that night at that sushi restaurant. I thought about it and I said, you know, I was putting that restaurant for a reason. I didn't know what the reason was at the time. I thought it was just because of a hot date. But, uh... I was putting that place at that time, that night, for a reason. And now that I'm playing in front of y'all with 